So, Van Lathan, earlier this week, sent out a tweet. Talking about, I think he was talking about Storm. Holly Berry as Storm. So yep. somebody tweeted him and said, Van Diss and Holly Berry felt very anti-black. Van then responds and says she sucked at Storm. Holly is amazing, but was totally miscast for the character, uh, who in the comics is a darker skinned Kenyan woman. She's been she's been drawn as, you know, a lot of different shades, but I think that's what she's supposed to be. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I mean her name is Aurora. Well, yeah, I mean, she's been drawn as a light-skinned woman and a dark-skinned woman in the comics. Yeah. I mean, the, I, I would argue that, you know, probably the lighter-skinned depictions are some of the more not-so-authentic. Okay. You know? Um, but neither here nor there. She's a darker, a darker-skinned Kenyan woman. If that is anti-black, then I'm Larry Elder. <laughs> Sick of you guys and your shit. Um... I thought that this raised an interesting question um, because I would like to ask who do we who do we truly lay the responsibility of colorism at? Like, whose feet do we lay that at? Um, because I, I I've seen it go a lot of ways that I feel like it probably shouldn't. And, and people have problems attacking the people that they probably should attack for the feelings that they have over it. So, so what, what is what is colorism, right? Casting or having the propensity to cast lighter skin actors, first of all, in general, but also in particular for roles that have been um, made for darker skin people, portraying a darker skin person. Uh, uh, you know, biopics, things of that nature. That's the kind of thing we're talking about. You know, just casting light skin actors because light skin is closer to white, mm -hmm. essentially, right? And mm -hmm. white is right. Here, here is my problem. In, in terms of just black actors in general, be it light skin, dark skin, mixed race, right? There is always going to be a level of typecasting that happens. There is always going to be a level of or, or a lack of opportunity to a certain degree there's always going to be larger barriers for entry for those actors right all of those things are discrimination all of them we can talk about the the varying degrees we can talk about the differences between different individuals we can talk about you know similarities but at the end of the day, discrimination is discrimination. Zazie Beats is not going to get the same type of roles and offers as Kira Knightley. Even though I, 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 I mean, I would choose Zazie Beats over Kira Knightley. One thousand percent. Even Viola Davis, one of the most accomplished black actors that we have here in the states. Do you think that she gets the same treatment and revenants as Meryl Streep? And that's a crime. That's an absolute thousand, crime. Yeah. It's a crime. Yeah. Holly Berry, as prolific as a, a, a actor as she has been, with all the Hollywood main starring roles that you can think of, has always, always, and I mean even in some of her rougher movies, has always, always been the light skin eye candy mm -hmm. and whether or not you feel as though that is a benefit or a detriment to her career holly berry has been discriminated in that way she has been discriminated against in that way and just because it doesn't suit or it doesn't line up exactly the way that darker skinned black actors have been discriminated against doesn't necessarily doesn't mean that it should be looked down on as lesser or not or not even acknowledged at all. Mm -hmm. It's like we look at light skin actors getting cast in their roles and we say, oh, well, they're they're only getting this role because they're lighter skin. And you may have some validity to that. But what about the 20 other roles that they didn't get because they were black? What yeah. about the 20 other opportunities that they never saw because they were black? Mm hmm. We've got to stop divvying ourselves up because the people who are 
absolutely responsible for that, directly responsible for that, get off scot-free. You never question the casting directors. You never question the showrunners. You never question the directors. You never question the executive producers. You question the actors for taking a job. That's mm -hmm. not fair. It's not. I can acknowledge that colorism in TV and film are a problem without attacking people for working. Now, there's another side to this. There's also the, 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 the actors who willingly put themselves in certain roles because they know that's what's going to be more palatable. Zoe Saldana is, is, is a prime example of that for me. With with Zoe Salasos in particular, she's one that, that, that really sticks out to me because I've never seen and I and I could be I could be forgetting a movie, but I'm 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 just running down the list of movies for Zoe Saldana. I've never seen Zoe Saldana with a black love interest. Drumline. Damn! <laughs> Damn! <laughs> Nick Cannon was yeah. the aunt, the nigga. Okay, okay, okay. And I, I that's why I said that. I said I could. Be but that was the, the one. I, I I thought you were just gonna say black movies in general, which I was gonna say. Guess who? But well, but Ashton see, Kutcher. that's not. It's not that. Because because what's a black movie? You know what I mean? Mm. Like, I, I, that, you know what I mean? I, I don't want to. I don't want to stereotype. Guess who? Drumline as you know, just black movies. Those were movies that a lot of people enjoyed. My my problem is that it seems as though she has carved out a role for herself in Hollywood as the exotic love interest to a white character, to a white love interest. I'd agree. See, like if you have one or two of those movies, but then you also have one or two when you're dating a black guy or one where you're dating an Asian guy or a Hispanic guy, and it's, you know, it's it's mixed up. Drum but like if every single film, like damn, Drumline was so far back. I'm thinking Drumline was what, 20 years ago. I'm thinking, uh, you know, Guardians of the Galaxy, obviously. I'm thinking Avatar. Avatar, I'm thinking, you know what I'm saying? There, there's time and time of these major motion films that she's been in where she is the the white guy's love interest. You know, Holly Berry. Holly Berry cannot stop playing a fucked up mother. <laughs> even when she's making the movies for herself. Yep. Even when she's writing and directing the movies for herself, for some reason she cannot stop playing a messed up mother. She had a reason in this last movie. What was the reason? That, that kid annoyed the fuck out of me, too. Okay, no, no. <laughs> that's not a good enough reason. <laughs> Shit, the fat kid in a monster's ball annoyed me hiding fucking snacks under his bed. There's that's no reason for fact. any of that that went that on in that movie. <laughs> oh, man. I'm just saying, like, you can only be responsible for so much. And if you are actually actively, like... I can see it. Roll after roll after roll after roll after roll. You're you're playing the same character. Okay, well that's probably purposeful. Mm -hmm. You know, if you have one or two movies where you were that you took an opportunity for, where you were cast in a different light and they just weren't successful. Okay, well then you tried. You know what I mean? And it didn't work out, or the studio didn't do enough for you, or or you know the promotion, the marketing wasn't the best, or the story wasn't the best. At least then we can start to piece together why it wasn't successful. But w what I have a problem with is on one side of it, you've got people who don't get an opportunity to play anything else, and then you got the ones that are willing to sit up there and play whatever they have to be. Or dress up as whatever they have to be to get ahead. Talking to UTP. Gross. Can we let's not do that? Colorism in film and television. Give us your thoughts, man. Am, am I off base? Do you see some sense in what I'm saying? Give us your thoughts. And check out our last video uh, where we discussed Aquafina and her black scent. I thought that was a pretty good discussion and somewhat mm. kind of related to this. Uh, make sure to subscribe. We like to talk about uh, things that are going on in Hollywood specifically, as obviously as it pertains to race. So make sure to subscribe.